There's an easy to use feature in EasyCAD that allows you to pull data from an Excel file or a text file and mark it line by line. Let's take a look at how that works. So first to do that, we're going to use the text function and we're going to click and we can add a hatch to that. I'm just going to do it very fast. Let's make it about six millimeters tall. Font doesn't matter, but I am going to click on this to make sure it's centered because we're going to do multiple lines of text. So we'll just apply that and say, okay, put it near the top left so we can actually mark this. And what we're going to do is very similar to what we did for serial number marking. If you happen to see that video I made. So we're going to have just any text sitting here and we're going to click the enable variable text button and we're going to add an, a variable text element. So we'll add that and we're going to choose the file text element and you can see that it's asking you to choose either text or Excel. And what you're going to do is select your file. Now I made a couple sample files. One is going to be for a student locker number. So we're going to mark a student's locker number as well as their last name. And if I locate that file, that's a text file. I have to choose the Excel and then locate that file. There it is. We'll click open. Now notice this is an XLS file, which is the 97 to 2003 Excel version. That's kind of what you have to use because that's what easy guys looking for. And I actually did make this in Excel and not any other program like LibreOffice. When I did use LibreOffice, EasyCAD would crash every time. Don't know why, but I'm sure there's some workaround for that. So we're going to use Excel. This was saved in Excel and it's an XLS file. So we'll just click open. And then it's going to ask us what line do you want to start on? What do you want to increment by? What field name are you going to choose? And do you want to auto reset once you're at the end of the Excel file? So let's take a look at that Excel file. So here it is. And you can see I have my fields in row number one. That's important. They have to be in row number one. EasyCAD's going to only look in the first row. And it's also only going to look on the first sheet. Notice I have two sheets on this Excel workbook. One's a blank sheet and one is for locker numbers. If I move this blank sheet to the first position, EasyCAD would see nothing. It's only going to look at the first tab. So make sure your data is in the first tab and make sure your, your field names are in the first row. So you can choose any data from any field name and what we're going to do is try to mark the locker numbers and let's for this example let's say we've already marked up to line 22 so we're going to start on line 23 now for our example i just said that our field names are in row number one so row number one is discarded by easycad so row number two is effectively our start point so this if you were in easycad you would want to mark 7473 you would put number one so we want to mark row number 23 so we have to say we're starting on 22 and we're going to increment by one. So we're going to mark 788, then 5535. So let's go back to our EasyCAD and see what this looks like. So we just said we're going to start on line 22 and we're going to increment by one. Now it's going to ask us to choose a field name and nothing is popping up. That's because I have the file open. So let's go back to the file. Let's close that file and still nothing is popping up. That's okay. Let's select the file again. And now you can see field names are popping up. So we have locker number as our first field name and we're going to click OK and you can see that we have 788. So that's not the only data I want to mark. I'd like to mark the last name of the student in addition to that. So we're going to add one more text element and I'm actually going to put the student's name on the second line. So we're going to choose change line character and that's essentially going to be like hitting the enter button on your keyboard. And that's going to go right below our 788. So then we'll click add for another element right back to the same file, Excel, choose the same file. We're going to say, choose the same line number of 22 and this time we're going to choose the student's last name. Click OK and there we go, 788 Perez. And that should match up right to our file. So if we mark that right now, and I'll light that and we can see an example and we'll just quickly mark it. Notice that has incremented now to 5535 Thompson. So that looks like what we want. And that'll just continue all the way through the end of the spreadsheet. If we had it set to auto reset, then it would start over from the beginning of the Excel spreadsheet. So there are a couple guidelines you want to follow when you're setting up an Excel spreadsheet for marking an EasyCAD. And I put those in a text file. And we can actually look at this text file as soon as we're done reading it. So here's my little guide. These are five points. And we already talked about the file has to be saved as an XLS file. And it's best if you make that actually in Excel. Uh, data must be full pulled from the first sheet in the workbook. We talked about that. Column headings fields must be in row number one. We talked about that. Row number one is ignored and you have to essentially subtract one from whatever column, whatever row number you're starting on. We talked about that. And no formulas and cells. This is uh, something that I found too. I was using a random number generator for the locker numbers 
and you have to make sure you're just copying and pasting values into those cells and there's no calculation involved. Even if it's just a simple subtraction, got to get rid of that. Doesn't seem to care about formatting though. You can you know, use colors, you can use fonts, it doesn't matter. So those are the five basic guidelines and notice this is a text file so we're actually going to mark this. So you see line number one in this text file is Excel file guide. If we wanted to mark these five points we would start on line number one. Notice there's a space two and this would be line three and we're skipping every other line on these points. So we would want to mark line three and then we want to increment by two to mark line five. So let's close this file and let's jump right back into EasyCAD and instead of marking any of this we'll just delete delete and we'll modify our first one choose the same file button except this time we're going to use the text radio button and we're going to use a different file to pull from now it's going to look for txt files and this was saved as a txt file i think i made it in notepad but you can make it anywhere and this is a little less picky than excel so all we're going to choose is line number three because that's what we want to start on that should be our first point and we're going to increment by two and we're not going to auto reset and if you chose this read all line function it would mark all of the data available to be read in that text file all in one go we don't want that so i'm just going to click ok here and you can see that's our point number one so if i mark that and that's a little big let's shrink it down okay so that's fit in our area right below our previous marking let's just light it up to make sure it looks okay that looks fine let's quickly mark that and let's see if that increments to line five. Okay, that's our point number two, right on line five. So that's basically how you use a text file. Pretty easy, right? A little bit easier than an Excel file. So I hope that's helpful. It's pretty easy to use, and you can use any variable text elements just like we were using in the serial number video. It's uh, pretty versatile. Did have some problems with LibreOffice, but maybe somebody else can figure that out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.